Hello and welcome to this video where I will show you how you create this small icon here at the left corner where when we click on it, it will go and display the dark theme instead of the light theme and then it will change to a sun where we can go and click it again and then we have the light theme again. So basically just a switch that can go and turn on and off the light mode and dark mode and it's of course all done by using Mudblazer. So back to the code here, we can just start at the home page. In this case, I don't put the button at the left corner as you saw it before. I will just go and put it directly on our page, but all the code are the same. So you can just go and put it wherever you want on your website. But the first line of code that we want to go and insert is this mod theme provider. And you can only have one on your website at a time or one on a single page, else it will go and throw an error. And then the next thing we want to say is that we want to bind this to is dark mode. So we want to either set a value that is true or that is false to say if it should be the dark mode or not. And that is the variable we're going to create in the code section in just a moment. So this is going to be the variable is dark mode. It will be a bool. Either it will be true or it will be false. And we can change it when we click the button or the icon. And as a little extra thing, I will also go and include a custom theme. So you can go and say theme should be equal to, and then we say my custom theme. So we're going to create our own colors to define how it should look when it's the light mode and how it should look when it's the dark mode. And it's of course, again, a variable we're going to create in just a moment. The next mod blazer component we're going to use is this mod toggle icon button. It just allows us to create a icon that we can go and toggle with. You know, like we use it as a button. So the whole name here makes sense. And what we want to go and toggle is the is dark mode variable that we are going to create in just a moment. We do need to go and expand this toggle icon button component because we need an icon, which should be the icon that it should just start with. And in this case, this is going to be the path to the icon where we have the moon. So it is just an icon that they have on Mudblazer's website where you can go and choose whatever icon you want to use. Just to make it a little bit clear, I just jumped to the mudblazer.com documentation. Inside the features, we have the icon reference. And from in here, you can just click on an icon and you will get the path over here. And then you also want to go and say what color should this have. And in this case, we just say that it should be the default color. But we do need to expand this component a little bit further because we also need to have the icon when we click on it, that what icon it should be turned into. So in this case, when we click on the moon, we want to go and add a sun instead. So we go, we're going to add the toggled icon also. And in this case, it's just the path to a sun. So this is the sun. And then we also want to go and say what should be the toggle color. And again, we just want to use the default. And if we just go back to the icon website here, you can see down here we have something called color. And it is a default color. It's this gray one. You could also go and choose the primary, secondary. And for example, if you want to have a yellow sun instead of a gray sun, you can go and take this warning instead then it will be a yellow sun you get. But for now, that was all the components. Now we're going to the code section and we first of all want to go and create the bool, which is for the is dark mode. So is this true or is it false? And then the next thing we want to do is go and create this my custom theme variable. And the way we do that is first of all to go and use this mod theme class say this is my custom theme and create a new instance of this mod theme and to actually make this a custom theme we can go and say what should the light theme look like and what should the dark theme look like so for the first uh, theme the light theme we have to say that we have a palette and this should be a new instance of the palette light so it is the light theme that we're going to define in here and as you can see here, we have the primary color. We can set it to something. The secondary, and we have the app bar background. And you can also go and define another properties in here. So this is basically the way that you're going to set the colors for the light theme. And in just a moment, I will show you how you find these colors. But just to 
be done with this, we also need to go and define the dark theme. So we just say palette dark and make a new instance of the palette dark here and go and again define the primary color, secondary and the app bar background for now. So before I will go and show you how you actually find the colors, let's just go and test it and see if it's work. So we do now have the moon here and if we click it, you can see it will go and change to the dark theme. And when we click it again, it was changed again. So it do actually work. But let's go and try to find out how we go and set the colors. So it's again inside the documentation at Mudblazer, inside the features, then we have some colors here. And when you scroll down, you can actually go and find the colors. So what you need to do is to say, if you, for example, want this darken one in the red, you want to go and say, inside our colors here. Uh, let's take the app bar because we can see that. Then you actually just want to say red because that was the name up here. And then you want to go and say darken one or two or three. And you can see we have the darken three already. So if we test this, it should be red now, the app bar inside the light theme. And indeed it is red. And if we change it, it will go to the color that we set for the dark theme. And it is of course just something we call it the dark theme because you could also go and make this red. And if we test it, it should just be red no matter what. So it's really just two states that you can have when you switch from the dark to the light theme. So I think that was actually it for this video. I hope you learned something and let's just go and have a nice day. Bye.